Hello, and this is analysis chess, and this is world chess. So today our topic is all about Artemiev Vladislav. Of course, we can see that Vladislav means he is from Russia. So recently we know that Vladimir Kramnik has retired, and today we can see that uh, Russian grandmaster, Russian chess wizard Vladislav Artemiev, as we know that who won the Gibraltar Chess, Gibraltar Masters 2019. <coughs> so there were 10 rounds, it was a Swiss League and uh, as you can see that there is no zeros in these in these numbers. So this means he is a pl player to beat. So no player, no player has beaten him in this uh, tournament of Gibraltar Chess. Of course Gibraltar Chess as you know one of the most popular chess uh, festival around the globe and uh, so his last opponent was Wu Yanghe from China who is 2764 and Vladislav Artemiev whose rating is 2709 so who is also a super grandmaster from Russia and he won he won this tournament with 8.5 out of 10 this means he won a lot a lot of lots of games he drew with Maxim Vasily Legrev. He beat Hikaru Nakamura. As you can see, that there is a plus one. He drew with Levon. He won against uh, David Navarra. Of course, he is the most talked about player right now. And of course, he Yu Yang Jui from China. He beat. So <coughs> today, so let's talk about the final standing of Gibraltar Chess. And this is, and of course, so we can see in number two we have. Grandmaster Murali Kartikyan from India, of course, and I am very glad to see that. And we have Nikita, V Nikita, Grandmaster from Russia, who is third. And of course, we have David Hallwell, as we know that he is very popular in 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 New England, just after Mickey Adams. So David W L Hallwell, who is twenty uh, seven point five, so he is he's tied number number three actually. But he's four at least. And we have of course from Spain David Anton Gujaro. And we have David Navarra on number six. And this is uh, the standing. And MBL finished in 13. Mickey Adams 14. Nakamura on 16. So they do not have that much good, I think, nice tournament. But. And this is the thing. So let's talk about the game against uh, Hikaru, Hikaru Nakamura. Of course, he beat Hikaru Nakamura. As you know, Hikaru Nakamura is a chess wizard of, uh, from America. So, this game was uh, one of the most talked about game in this tournament. And it was played in round 7. So, this is the game. Let's talk about this game. So, in this game, Artemis Vladislav Artemiev with white and Nakamura with black and as you can see Artemiev beat Nakamura so, back, back, back. and this is move 31 this means that is a quick game so knight f3 by Artemiev Vladislav and now knight to f6 copycatting each other and now we have a d4 d5 opening I think maybe maybe okay so we have different kind of setup so this is now the English the English opening so let's see the whole game how Artemis Vladislav defeat Hikaru Nakamura so as you can see that no taking on c4 this means to keep the tension on and now I think take and now white has a good center So this is a different kind of setup. I mean, this is very new to me. This is I. This is this kind of setup. I am watching this. I never watched this kind of system, but I think this is cool system to play with. Slowly, gradually taking the center. That 
diese Risiken einzunehmen. That key, that black key has no limit at all. And this is the moment when Nakamura resigned. And you can see why. So this take was taken. That pawn was taken. And now let's talk about this take. Now what gonna happen? And as you can see, that's a thing. What was played in this game? So knight to c6. So now this this move was played, and as you can see, if we if we take this, then probably I think I'm gonna take this, and uh, I think in this position was clearly winning because of these pawns on the king side these three pawns uh, two pawns on the king side is nice and uh, of course if you check then i think it is not so good there are so many moves as we can see that we can take it here and that's the thing i think nakamura actually did played some blunder in this game and that's the reason because there is a check check on the e8 which uh, Nakamura didn't saw and uh, I think this is a position after taking this I think this move is very fine because now if we take it okay, of course uh, then you cannot play this move because uh, if you take this uh, move then probably I'm going to it, then I think uh, I can move on. Move on and on. So, that's the thing. But still, it is winning for me. So that's the position. That's the position where uh, the great Nakamura resigned against Artemis Banner. Of course, Artemis is a player to beat. This means he is undefeated. So that's how it is. So Artemis, congratulations to him. He won this and he won it for Russia, of course. And of course, as you can see. One Vladimir Kramnik is retiring, and the another Vladimir is uh, uprising. So, thanks for watching, and of course, just subscribe to my channel for next videos and share it, like it, and of course, play chess, play chess every hour, as you can say. Thanks.